I personally run the shadow all the time. Now, I used to run the high gain, got it caught in my toy hauler spring once, spent a long time trying to get that thing out of there. I threw the shadow on there and I only ride with the shadow. Now, I only ride, I'm never more than a couple mile, you know, a mile from my, from my group. And I've never had a problem talking to my, to my uh, group. So I just run the shadow antenna all the time. Now, if you're a mister, I need to get as much range out of this as possible, and I'm trying to speak across the desert, uh, you're gonna want our high gain antenna. And maybe you do both, because you can quickly just, you know, spin them on and off. They're a tool is to get them on and off. The only way that the height matters is if you're getting above obstacles, right? Obviously, the higher you go, the more obstacles you're clearing. So are, are you really clearing a ton more obstacles by raising it 18 inches on your side by side? Uh, maybe maybe there's a rock that's lower. I mean, they're, they're, you're to clear some more, but probably not a dramatic amount, I would imagine. Um, so, you know, that you know, comparing it to like the top of a mountain versus the bottom, you know, yeah. of a valley, that's what matters. But it really what matters on that is the high gain just is designed to yeah. transmit more it's got a higher gain it's got a higher gain like i said it's a 5.5 dbi versus a 2.5 dbi so. The PTT button's gonna be pressed the whole time. So here we go. Three, two, one. Here going away. So you can see the antenna placement. It matters where you put that thing if you want clarity. So you see how thin this is? How thin that metal is? That's deliberate. Um, if you get like a roll cage thing, sometimes that metal is really thick. And so here's what happens when you go like this, you slide this up through here and you take this screw and you tighten this down on here. You can see if that metal is not, if it's too thick, this little button that's on top of here, you see that little guy? Let's go this way. Um, that little button needs to stick up above this thing or at least flush with it. You don't want it to be recessed. And if that metal is too thick, what ends up happening is the screw only goes down, you know, that far because the metal is that thick. And when that goes out, that that button is recessed. And why that matters is, yeah, if you look at the bottom of this, there's a little button right here. See a little plunger? And this thing right there touches that plunger, and that's what really makes your connection for. Um, you know, for the antenna to go through. Everything else is grounding. That's really the magic right there. So that all happens inside there. It touches that. And if that thing is not down far enough, what ends up happening is, is when you screw your uh, thing on top of here, you don't even see it. You'll screw that all the way down and it won't be touching the button inside. There'll be this gap because it can't go down far enough. So thickness, of what you're using for your antenna mount matters. You want a thin piece of metal. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hit, I'm gonna fire the radio up here and then you're gonna see it go right there. So there, we got a 1.01 on this one, so. That was a weatherman channel, so. And if I change the frequency, it'll uh, it'll either get better or worse, so. As you start getting further away, that one's still good. See how it changed on the Baja pit? See, it went to 1.97. We're still good, but you can see as you change your frequency, you get further away from the optimum, it will change, so. But 1.97 is still a good uh, 
SWR. It's not as good as the 1.01, but it's still, I would not worry about that one bit. So you can see that I did it on this mount, on the side of the cage when we were tuning these. So we've tuned them to our mounts. Now, a, gr a ground plane is always best, right? But we have tuned our antennas to our mount, the swivel mount, to make it sure that it's hitting the optimum and that's where we're getting. You, do we pull this out and cut this and don't do that? It's, if there's actually, it's all, done. it's all done. There's a capacitor inside here. This is not like the old school antennas where you cut the whip to, to tune it. You leave it the way it is. If for some reason you're getting a really bad SWR rating, we need to find out what's going on. Maybe we need to move your antenna a little bit, or maybe you've got your coax coiled up somewhere, or you're not, or there's maybe something problem with the transceiver or something like that. Would start up the top here, and I'd take the end and I'd put it basically in the middle where I knew that, um, you know, the console was gonna be mounted, basically because it's gonna go to the back of the radio. And then I would run my string along the side and then I go where am I mounting this one so if I was mounting it on the side I would mount go to the C pillar with it if I'm mounting it to the center which this one is I would go to there and then give it a little bit of extra to go out there and I'd hold on to this and now I throw my tape measure on this to measure this to see how long my coax needs to be find the one that's closest to that length you need and then um, you know go a little bit longer just make sure that you burn it up some other way than coiling it like an extension cord at the bottom it's got this heat shrink on it um, that's all factory done we don't do that so they're mass producing these if you're shortening those you snip this and now you have a temporary one it usually has a set screw that grows into that and that set screw tends to get loose and becomes a fail point so we chose not to do that with our system. A couple notches right there. You see how it kind of steps down right there? Your terminal will fit really nice inside those notches. Just like that, locks in. And then depending on which mount you have, here's the horizontal mount. It will go on the bottom side of the horizontal mount. Or I'm going to demonstrate it on the swivel mount because it's a little easier to see. And to make sure the gasket side is down on the NMO brass nut. And then you'll want to line these up so it's right in that crevice right there. And just tighten it down. And you'll see that it's... Then you'll take a crescent wrench and just give it that last little snug and then you can put your antenna right on top of it. And then what you'll do is you'll take this to the closest body ground and you might have to scrape a little paint off so this makes good contact with your chassis and put it against your chassis and that's the antenna ground. <laughs>